Dairy farming is really a way of life for a lot of people, and it starts years ago with this, this guy, Ernest Sweet. He started it way back, and what, when did you start milking? Oh, I don't know. About his start. And we're from um, Fletcher, Vermont, and we have been farming here for six generations, and we decided to go with the Lely Robots two years ago. And they give you so much more information than a parlor ever could to manage cows, and it got rid of the labor aspect. It's really hard finding employees that are reliable and Care. Care is really difficult, so this eliminated that problem and it also got us more back to a family-based operation instead of outside employees. I know more about the cows now than I ever did before robots because it gives you so much information. By going into the computer and just using the programming that they have there for us to use, I could figure that out and my feed guy and I switched it up so that our feed tables ramped up faster, the problem went away. Now it's rare to have a problem when they freshen now just by using that information that's in there to, to look at their health and how the cows are being fed. In the old barn we had three cows over 100 and now we've got 37 on the whole theme side. There's 107 cows over there. 37 of them are over 100 pounds. We are seeing huge production gains. Huge. You will be able to go to that sporting event and work around that schedule if you want to go to your kid's sporting event. Um, it frees you up not to have to be here at 2 o'clock every day to do the milking. The less you're in there disturbing them, the more they're going to be doing what they want to do, laying down, eating when they feel like it. So it's quiet. I mean, there's 217 cows in here and you don't even hear a peep out of them. And it's like that almost all the time. We always say happy cows make a lot of milk and I think the cows are happy. <laughs> you can't push feed up enough. On most dairies, they don't push it up enough. It's the easiest thing to overlook. You're busy out in the field, you don't have time to get there. This thing is on a timer, so every hour it's gone, goes around the barn, and it goes back and charges and you don't even deal with it. That could be used on any farm. I don't need to be used just to robots. Right. Because let's, I mean, every farm that has a feed alley needs to push feed up. These guys, anybody that needs to push feed up, that thing just is so reliable I mean, you can see it as it comes down through. The cows have moved up to where they weren't eating before, and now they're up there eating. That thing pays for itself fast, just because of production gains and keeping the feed pushed up. They love the Lely brushes, too. Cows like to play with those and <laughs> stand underneath them and... Yeah, get their head scratched. Scratched. Back scratched. They... They're pretty busy all the time, their Lely brushes. Yes, the cows definitely go visit those quite often. The next generation is so computer savvy compared to our generation and the generation right. before us. They are so keyed up on this new technology that it drives an interest in them, hopefully to want to move on with the dairy. <laughs>